the enforcement directorate has become a force to reckon with in recent times a agency which is being feared across the political spectrum while the aam aadmi party's arvind kejriwal today says that mr kejriwal will only appear before the ed in the liquor gate probe if he gets protection from arrest in another case the top court pulled up the central agency saying they were keeping accused in custody without trial as elections of 2024 draw in more and more opposition leaders are fearing they could be targeted by the ed is the ed being weaponized against the opposition or is this simply the rule of law being followed that's our top focus no relief to arvind kejriwal from delhi high court which took up his petition challenging the summons by ed in delhi excise policy case on wednesday during the hearing the bench led by justice suresh kumar keth asked kejriwal why he was not appearing before the ed abhishek manu singhvi representing arvind kejriwal responded that he is ready to appear for questioning but he needs protection from arrest Singh we also cited how other Aam Aadmi Party leaders like Manish Sisodia Sanjay Singh were arrested in the case Additional Solicitor General S V Raju appearing for the ED opposed Kejriwal's plea the court asked the ED to file a reply in 2 weeks and gave Kejriwal 1 week to file a rejoinder While the arguments were going on Kejriwal also sought protection from arrest in the case but the court was silent on the request Now the matter will be heard again on April 22nd. In summons ko challenge karne ke liye, ye summons kanuni hai ki gair kanuni hai is pe faisla karne ke liye Arvind Kejriwal ji ne high court move kiya. ED ne is petition ka bahut virodh kiya. ED ke purzor virodh ke baad bhi high court ne is matter ko sunne ka nirnay liya hai. Unhone ED ko notice diya hai aur ED ko ab is pure mamle mein high court mein jawab dena hoga. Ek apradhi एक भ्रष्टाचारी इस आरोप में डूबा हुआ एक व्यक्ति उस स्वयं को खुद ही क्लीन चिट दे क्या इस देश के संविधान में ऐसा संभव है और उसी केस में आपके साथ ही जेल में हो कोर्ट बेल नहीं दे रही हो दूसरे राज्यों के लोग भी डिटेन हो रहे हो तो उसमें आप कानून पर ही आरोप लगा दीजिए संविधान पर ही आरोप लगा दीजिए तो ये दिखाता है कि जो डर आपका है ना वो आपकी गुनाह को सिद्ध कर देता है इंटरेस्टिंगली द सुप्रीम कोर्ट मेड सम स्केलिंग ऑब्जर्वेशन अगेंस्ट द ईडी इन अनदर केस द बेंच कॉम्प्रोमाइजिंग जस्टिस संजीव खन्ना दीपांकर दत्ता वॉज हियरिंग द बेल एप्लीकेशन ऑफ प्रेम प्रकाश एन अक्यूज इन मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग केस लिंक टू फॉर्मर झारखंड चीफ मिनिस्टर हेमंत सोरेन वॉज ऑलरेडी स्पेंड एटीन मंथ इन द जेल Justice Sanjeev Khanna criticized the ED's practice of filing supplementary charge sheets and prolonging investigation in which the accused remains in the jail without trial. The judge observed that ED cannot say trial will not commence unless investigation is completed. The court pointed out that the accused has been in jail for more than 18 months. Meanwhile in another case TMC General Secretary Abhishek Banerjee got relief from the Supreme Court from the ED. Abhishek Banerjee won't be summoned by the ED in the coal scam case till July. Bureau report India today. So let's raise some of the big questions tonight. Are the agencies especially the cent uh, the enforcement directorate being weaponized now against the opposition at election time? Is Kejriwal going to be the next in the line for arrest? Are the probes being prolonged deliberately to deny bail to the accused? is the skipping of summons routinely bad optics now for kejriwal just some of the questions that we will raise joining me now are my special guests first let's introduce them uh yashovardhan azad former ips officer priyanka kakkar aap spokesperson rp singh the bjp spokesperson and shama mohammad congress spokesperson appreciate all of you joining us before i come to you i just want to give you a sense of why we are raising this at a time like this because in the last month ahead of the election this is what we've seen Hemant Soren Jharkhand Mukti Morcha leader chief minister was arrested by the ED in an alleged land scam case last month and the chief minister had to go Manish Sisodia of the Aam Aadmi Party is still in jail he was arrested remember in February last year deputy chief minister he has been denied bail repeatedly 
Sanjay Singh, another Amadmi Party MP, has been arrested by the ED in a Delhi liquor policy case. He remains behind bars. Satendra Singh, Amadmi Party leader, arrested by ED in money laundering case. His bail was cancelled again yesterday. And K. Kavita of the Bharat Rashtra Samiti has also been arrested by the ED in the Delhi liquor policy case. You've got Anuprato Mandal of the TMC arrested in a cattle smuggling case by the ED. Partha Chatterjee, suspended leader of the TMC in a teacher recruitment scam. Jyoti Priya Malik, TMC arrested by the ED in a PDS scam. Manik Bhattacharya, TMC arrested by the ED in a primary teacher recruitment scam. Travel down south, Senthil Balaji, DMK arrested by the ED in a cash for jobs case. So across the country, opposition leaders in the crosshairs of the enforcement directorate. Uh, before I come to the politician, Yashovardhan Azad, give me a sense of where you look, see this. Is this the weaponization of the ED, the fears that the Supreme Court has expressed today that you can't keep an accused indefinitely in custody pending trial, uh, filing one supplementary charge sheet after the other? Or do you believe that the law is actually taking its course under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act? Well, uh, let us let me say at the very outset that the PMLA law is, is a very tough one. And that is why it is very, very difficult to uh, get bail. But then uh, one thing is right, as the Supreme Court also said, that the, if the trial takes inordinately wrong, then bail should be provided. So in that case, I don't know why Manish Sisodia is not being provided bail. And, and that is a question uh, which is being asked again and again. As far as the weaponization is concerned, uh, mm -hmm. Rajdeep, we have to understand that prima facie, there are substantive cases where the ED has moved in. Now, Mr. Kejriwal's case has become a little convoluted. He has got about nine summons. Technically, ideally, he should attend because the ED is not obliged to tell him whether he is going to be arrested or whether he is not going to be arrested. Supreme Court said the other day, normally they don't interest, uh, no, they don't arrest in the first two days, so why don't you go? So that is neither here nor there. But, but one thing I agree, that when you are talking about weaponization, the very fact that the entire, uh, you know, cases are directed against the opposition, it's obvious that, you know, their own people are not being uh, uh, targeted. So, so in that... You are raising two important points, Yashovardhan Azad. You are saying, A, the ED laws are very tough and harsh. Uh, there are questions over why bail is repeatedly being denied. Number two, you are raising the question of opposition leaders under the scanner, but also wondering why Arvind K. Jiwal has been repeatedly dodging summons. Let's take that last part to you, Priyanka Kakkar. Eight summons now and counting. He's supposed to be, uh, go tomorrow before the ED. He says, I won't go until I'm given an assurance that I won't be arrested. Now, the ED, as Yashovardhan Azad said, can't give such an assurance. It's the ED's, within the ED's powers. Good evening to everyone, uh, Rajdeep ji. Rajdeep ji, you began the show and used a statement, is ED a force to reckon with? Absolutely not. It is a, it is a force which has uh, under 0.4% conviction conviction rate that is the conviction rate then if you see for example Raghav, Raghav, Raghava Reddy the ED said that he was the Hyderabad lobby actively involved in the liquor scam and what happened the ED did not oppose his bail and he is going to be a probable MP candidate from Andhra Pradesh of the BJP secondly Sapna Gauli for example we all know five ED summons were issued and when she joined the BJP all ED, all ED investigations. Bhavna Gavli. Same was Bhavna the case Gavli. with Ajit Pawar. Bhavna Gavli. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bhavna Gavli. Same was the case with Ajit Pawar where the police recently mentioned all, case, all, all cases closed. Now, why we, I must also clear this. No, no, but why does that stop? No, no. Uh, why no, 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 no ma'am. Ma why does that stop Mr. Kejriwal from uh, appearing before the ED? My question is the fact that the it. ED is being used against opposition it. leaders, I'll ask R.P. Singh. But your question is very straight. What I'm, is stopping Mr. Kejriwal from appearing I'm, before the summons? I'm coming to it. Today when we went to the court, we have challenged the nine summons and we have challenged oh, several provisions of the 
PML Act. We have challenged the Money Laundering Act. Now you see what kind of an investigation is ED leading. You, the, you mentioned this judgment that was passed by the Honorable Supreme Court of the Bench of Justice Sanjeev Khanna and Justice Dipankar, Dipankar Datta today where they came down heavily on the ED and deprecated the practice of keeping somebody behind bars for an indefinite period without the trial ongoing, without any bail. So they came down heavily on this and all these petitions where the ED provisions are challenged which revived section 45 through a money bill route are now coming up in June or July of this year before the Supreme Court. That is one point. Why we went to the Supreme Court is challenging the ED provisions and challenging, challenging the illegality of the summons which the BJP was telling us itne time se ki agar summons illegal hai to court jau hum chale gai. Now in that while the while the case was absolutely not about Mr. Arvind Kejriwal's appearance, the case was about the legality of PMLA, the legality Sir, or illegality madam, the of the le legality of, of PMLA, as you yourself, been... ma'am, the legality of PMLA, as you have been saying, has been challenged. It is there before the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court will hear it. But purely from the optics, the perception, yes. if you are summoned, if an average citizen is summoned, he cannot dodge summons time and again. There are no special privileges for politicians. You... What, what stops him? If he has no, nothing to hide, if he has a... nothing to hide, he okay. should appear. No, no. Dood ka dood, pani ka pani. Rajdeep ji, Rajdeep ji, I am going a step further and saying why not have a, uh, uh, why not confront him through a video conference and then put it online for the people to see. You will know why there the ED no conviction is under There is no provision, there is no such ED. provision of a video conference, That is absolutely ma incorrect. That, that, is, that, that is Nobody, absolutely show me one case. Incorrect. Show me Raj one case Ji. where someone has been, uh, has Raj been interrogated Ji. through video conference Raj, by the ED. Raj, Please show me one case. Rajdeep ji, nothing, nothing prevents the ED from doing it. There is no bar. Okay. There is no bar. If okay. they have not done it, that okay. is their You're problem. Right. Okay. There is let no me, bar. Let me just take so this to... Can... A, just as I am going to be harsh on you, I am going to be a little harsh on my friend R.P. Singh as well. Because R.P. Singh... That is all right. Uh, I, I, yeah. I, I, Madam, you have not, not given me a though. clear answer to the question of why he is avoiding summons. But R.P. Singh, to you. The general perception is that the opposition leader has to target them. 95% of the cases in the last 10 years have been against opposition leaders. I mean... Generally, I mean, do you think the public is a fool out there that the, they believe that the government, all these state governments of the BJP, there is no money laundering going on given the wide ambit of the PMLA? Only in the, uh, uh, in the opposition rule states is the ED hyperactive. Naturally, then opposition leaders like Mr. Kejriwal feel they are being targeted. Well, one thing has come out very clear, Rajiv, today that uh, it is not dood ka dood pani pani, it is sharaab ka sharaab pani ka pani. I mean, that's, that's what is clear because Mr. Kejriwal till date has been saying that, oh, he has to go for Vipassana, he has to go for Diwali, he has to go for Madhya Pradesh election, he has to go for some other election, now, now the parliamentary election. No, it is not all that. It is only the scare of being arrested. I mean, it does come out clear. And then uh, he has mentioned in his appeal also that, in his request also that he should be... Uh, uh, given a, a safe route that he, he will not be arrested. That's just one thing is very clear. Absolutely so, Shraab ka Shraab Madam, 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 please do Second, not intervene. Uh, please, uh, did I? Yeah, go ahead, Mr. Singh. Secondly, secondly, secondly uh, Rajiv, there is one lakh crore which has been uh, confiscated by the ED in all these cases. And it's not only the uh, politicians, it's the corporates also which are there, uh, we, uh, where the cases are being followed, the corporates also, who are involved into it. Third no, but, no, but why, why is it that BJP ruled states, question. the ED is, no, no, sir, sir, why is it that in BJP ruled states, the BJP, is do, the ED is dormant? I mean, you cannot have two laws in this country, sir. one for opposition ruled states and leaders, one for BJP ruled states and leaders. Sir, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rajiv. Uh, Mr. Kejriwal, uh, came with a message of that he is a crusader against corruption. Kisi ke khilaaf koi shanka bhi ho, to usko arrest kar lena chahi. Usko, sorry, usko resign kar dena chahi and then he should be arrested immediately. I mean, that's what he started with. And then this Abhishek Manu Singh Ji is contesting the case. Why doesn't Mr. Kejriwal hire Abhishek Manu Singh Ji other than him for himself for other cases to pursue in the court? No, you're not answering my question. R.P. Singh, R.P. Singh, bhai, na idhar ki baat. Sir, sir, R.P. Singh, na idhar ki baat kare, na udhar ki baat. Mene aapko sawal poochha. Why is it that in BJP ruled states, the enforcement directorate is dormant? Achha, achha, or, or that as in Maharashtra, Rajin all the ki. leaders who have switched over, their cases have gone into cold storage. I'll give you the full list. 
Bhavna Gavli, Pratap Sarmai, now Ravindra Vaikar, all their cases into cold storage. Has the case, case has been closed? No. Has the case been shut? No. Sir. And I am requesting again, let the, uh, Mr. Kejriwal, can I complete, Rajiv, allow me to complete, please. Okay. Uh, uh, I'll uh, appreciate Mr. Kejriwal or even for that regard, you can hire Mr. Abhishek Murthingvi. I'll pay the fee if Mr. Kejriwal uh, uh, doesn't want to pursue the uh, cases against crusade, against the corruption. I'll pay the fee. If he can win the cases, he, the, the fees is on my head. Otherwise, he should pay the double the fee to me. Sorry, it's sir, you're simple. not answering I'm my question. It. You're not and answering I'm, my question. Say, to say that the I'm cases have not been sir. closed. I'm answering the question, sir. None of the cases are... That's not good enough for me. You're sending Tell repeated anyone, summons any, to opposition leaders yeah, not, and not, no summons to the BJP leaders. Why don't you send summons to the leaders who have switched you, over you in Maharashtra? Not, no, 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 no. Let, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me tell you. You just spoke about uh, Surin Sab. I mean, uh, Mr. Shibu Surin. Yes. Uh, sorry, Hemant Surin. Yes. But the case against him was filed by the local police again in, in the land scam. It was the local authorities which filed the case, and then then the ED came in in, in, in the case. Mm -hmm. It was not that ED filed the case initially. So there have been cases which have which been uh, filed by the local local agencies or right. the local administration. Even in Mr. Kejriwal's uh, case, it was a Congress party. They claimed them. So I, I, Anil Chaudhary claimed that he was the one who filed the FIR against Mr. Uh, uh, Kejriwal. And that's how the complete case sir, uh, came in for so I am afraid. I am afraid. Sir, you are, complete, no, 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 sir. You, made, you are not answering my central question and therefore I must move on. You are not answering why there are different rules in this country in BJP rule states and opposition rule there states. There are no different rules. There, there are, are different, different rules. rules. I am giving you the many examples just as Mr. Kejriwal has to answer sir, why he is avoiding summons. any case which has been shared. Sorry? That's not good enough. You're not summoning them anymore. Any the case, case has gone into cold storage. No. Ajit Pawar's case, the economic no, no. offenses wing says we have no more evidence. We want the case closed. I, 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 give case. You a I give you a challenge. I give you a challenge, Rajiv. I give you a challenge now on Ajit Pawar. Okay, now you're saying what? I give you a challenge on, on Ajit Pawar. Please hire the best lawyer. I'm committing on your channel that I'll pay the complete fees. Please go against Ajit Pawar if there's a case. Okay, Heck, let me, no let case me take now. that. Okay, that's a, that's a point I want to take to you, Shama Mohammed. What R.P. Singh is saying, that if all these people are so innocent or those who've got away uh, are innocent, then go against an Ajit Pawar. Take a, uh, you know, Get the best lawyers and go after the BJP leaders who are allegedly involved in these scams. Now, that is the argument the government keeps making. The Prime Minister, no less, even at the India Today conclave, said that, look, we are, uh, look at the number of inquiries that are taking place, the assets that we have seized, look at the ED's performance. He's praising the ED. Okay, so let me get to that. He says, go to court. Court will take time. By the time the Lok Sabha elections will be over, number one. Number two, ED and the CBI is, with, with, huh. is not with us. Let, let RP say I did not interrupt. Please let me finish. 2004 to 14. I never interrupted. I never interrupted a word. Yeah, yeah, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Shama Mohammed. We had ED investigating around 26 leaders at that point of time. Of that, six were from the Congress Party, three from the BJP. As you remember, during our time, any minister had corruption or corruption allegation. He was asked to step down and there was a CBI probe. Rajdeep, you know that very well. Now, what we see, I'm just going to digress to the CBI, the Bombay High Court. What did it say in the Chanda Kocher case? It said very clearly the arrest was illegal, illegal and it was abuse of power. Exactly what today the Supreme Court said on the ED. So these, these are not the words of the Congress Party. Now, even in the Heman Soren case, he did not appear for their questioning in Delhi. What did they do? They put out a poster saying 11,000 rupees reward. Heman Soren is absconding. Now, I don't see that alacrity on Ajit Pawar, Himanta Biswasa Sarma, Suvindu Adhikari, Narayan Rane. He said, whose case is closed? Pratap Sarnayak's case in 2022 was opened in May. In 2022, September, after he joined Shiv Sena Shinde faction, the economics offense wing said, there is nothing. Please close the case. And the ED has closed the case. If you don't know RP Singh, please go and no, check. The ED so, has not closed the case. Let me give you a fact check. The uh, economic offense wing has recommended that the case be closed. But I want to ask you this, okay. ma'am. No, no, I want to ask you this. Last year in September, all the opposition parties, 14 of them, went to the court and said, look, Please give us some protection because the, uh, the PMLA is being used by the ED to target opposition leaders. The court said 
we can't give any special privileges to politicians. You come with individual cases, prove that the case has been wrongly put, and we'll act. That's the, that's the law. So there's an issue on that, Rajdi. For example, during the Chhattisgarh election, they came against a former Chhattisgarh chief minister, Bupesh Baghel, saying a gaming app issue. All right. Mm -hmm. There's an investigation opened immediately because the election was on. Mm -hmm. Then once the election is over, we don't hear anything about it. Mm -hmm. So it's a pattern. Now what we see is our The whole family was questioned. And at the time when the case, the land for job scam, according to them, happened, it was 2004 to 2006 to 9. And that time, Tejasvi was a teenager. His name is there. His siblings' name are there. So what does it show? Rohit Pawar, for example, in, in Maharashtra, he got a, a sugar mill worth 54 crore from the state government and others bought it for 25 crore. They have attached Rohit Pawar's. So this is the question we ask. The pattern is, it's an ecosystem. There's a pattern when elections come in, you go after opposition members. So the case prolongs. People are, how you know, there's a show with the media that these politicians are corrupt. You should not vote for. And that is what is happening. They have okay, I'll media. take your point, ma'am. I'll take your point. Let me come to you, therefore, Yashovardhan Azad. You see, the sense I'm getting, and this has been a debate we've had for months now, that we have a 12th man, if I may call it that, in Indian politics at the moment, squarely batting for one side and batting with huge powers. And that's the ED. Surely the IPS officers or the IRS officers involved, who do they take their orders from? The PMO, the finance ministry, the home ministry? Let's be honest now, you're a retired officer. No, no, even when I was not retired, I was pretty candid about these things. Uh, let me say one thing, uh, uh, Rajdeep, that the taint is on both sides. There is uh, just because the government is targeting the opposition, and I agree with it. You cannot say that you should not uh, institute cases or you cannot investigate. That is a different issue that they are not targeting their own. Now, how do we solve that? Unless the court takes its suo moto or something, or there are, you know, officers of spine, as you were talking about. Yes, you're right. Unless you give the autonomy, the requisite autonomy to the ED or the CBI, this thing will continue. Let me ask you another thing. Why doesn't the opposition go to the court and talk about the autonomy to be given to these institutions? Why doesn't the opposition go and raise the issue before the Supreme Court about the police reforms and fixity of tenure? Why doesn't the opposition talk about what is happening in most of the states where you're having acting DGP, which is in direct contravention with the law laid down by the Supreme Court given in the lister in the police reforms. So you see, we don't talk about basic. And last thing, Rajdi, it is very well known that the grease of politics run today is the basis is corruption. Mm -hmm. If you see the electric bond scheme, where the entire scheme has been, you know, rendered unconstitutional, how are you running the elections? You should stop it. You should have well, a SI. Let, let, that's and, another and, debate for another day. The fact at the moment is my focus has been on the enforcement directorate and the way they pick and choose cases. The selectivity is the problem at one hand. On the other hand, the optics of politicians not willing to even appear before the ED despite repeated summons also sends out the wrong message. So both sides have much to be questioned about. But for now, the ED clearly has become a 12th man in the elections of 2024. And that's not good for democracy because then it's not a level playing field. For a level playing field, an enforcement agency cannot be weaponized and used only against one side. That's effectively, in a way, what the courts are also saying when they today rebuke the ED for the manner in which detentions are taking place. I appreciate, though, all my guests joining me here on the news today.